say yes, I'm in for the other training. So, when someone replies with, yes, I'm at work, yes, I'm busy, yes, I'm doing this, yes, I'm at the cash register, yes, I'm playing with my kids, yes, I'm jumping off the building. No, I'm not, I'm just kidding. But if someone replies with something along the lines of, I'm too busy to talk, this is what your rebuttal should be 100% of the time. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. As always, my name is Mark Branson and I'm a first year agent here in Dallas, Texas. If you're new to the channel, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my cold calls and really giving you a feel for how and what to say when someone responds to you with, I'm too busy. But as always, if you find some value in this, hit that subscribe button and go ahead and turn your notifications on and give this video a thumbs up. It seriously helps the YouTube algorithm. If you're looking for a really, really good email client, I use Flowdesk to create memorable marketing emails that I send to my database on a weekly basis. This is the cornerstone and the foundation of my business. I use these emails to build my brand with my database of clients that I actually have obtained from purely cold calling. If you guys wanna try Flowdesk for yourself, here's my affiliate link so you can start off with a free trial and start using email to build your real estate brand. Now on today's call, I'm going to handle the situation when someone is basically saying, I'm too busy. Have you guys dealt with that at all during your call sessions? I'm going to give you the formula to be able to overcome this and move the conversation back into a place where we have an opportunity to collect some data. Let's hop right into this. Hello. Hey, Ms. Washington. Again, we always start off with each call asking for the person's name. I usually like to start with their first name and I'll say something like, Miss Linda, hey, Miss Debbie, it sounds like your family and friends. It sounds like you know the person, like they should know who you are. Hey, Miss Debbie, hey, Miss Debbie, I probably couldn't pronounce her first name and this is why I went with Miss Washington, which was her last name. Matthew Collins. This is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over here in Mansfield. Did I catch you the bad time? Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over here in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a bad time? Short, sweet, concise, good transition. Let's go on. Uh, yes, I'm actually under training. So when someone replies with, yes, I'm at work. Yes, I'm busy. Yes, I'm doing this. Yes, I'm at the cash register. Yes, I'm playing with my kids. Yes, I'm jumping off a building. No, I'm not, I'm just kidding. But if someone replies with something along the lines of, I'm too busy to talk, this is what your rebuttal should be 100% of the time. Oh, okay, okay, it'll only take a quick second if you can spare it. Oh, okay, okay, it'll only take a quick second if you can spare it. Oh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll be brief, I'll be real quick. Oh, okay, okay, it won't take very long if you can you know, handle it real quick. Real quick, real quick, you know? Oh, that'd be fast, just a second. You have a second, don't you? That's the tone and that's what you really need to internalize when you're saying the words. The point of the matter is you need to quickly turn it to, okay, it'll only be a quick second if you got a chance. And then usually what they'll respond with is, oh, okay, what you got? Like, and you wanna, you wanna come on with it, right? They're gonna be ready to go. You can tell they're not really gonna be trying to hold a long conversation. So we need to get to the point, right? And then sometimes, They'll even still be like, well, no, I don't really have any time. And then I'm going to show you what I do with this when she says that. Watch what happens. Um, I'm actually on a work conference meeting. Wow. Gotcha. So she then reiterated that she doesn't have time, right? And so what I'm going to do is agree, right? Oh, okay. I got you. I get it 100%. You're on a call. No worry. And then I'm going to say, okay, well, I'll just call you back. I was just calling, you know, some neighbors. I sold a house in your area just to see if I could help you out. I'm going to tell her I'm going to call you back, but then I'm going to keep going and tell her the reason why. And when I get to the end of it, she's going to continue talking. And that's the effect that we want. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I can give you a call back. I just, I was calling you. I sold a house there in the neighborhood. Just wanted to see if I could help you guys out with anything at all. You see how I did that? 
I said, okay, I'll give you a call back straight into my script, right? That's my script right there. And watch how she responds. I don't even have a house that I own. Oh, okay. Now we're about to try to pique some interest and figure this out, right? Okay, you don't even have a house that you own. Okay, okay. Well, this number is linked to this property over on wherever it's at, right? So if you guys don't know, I have another video about wrong numbers, go and check that out. But this is what we call peaking the prospect's interest, right? And so whenever we have a situation, when you go, when it falls into the wrong number situation, right? That was a lot of, that was a lot of, no, I know, I'm sorry. Whenever you have a situation that that falls under, you wanna use that wrong number line, the wrong number script. So let's go into that. Oh, really? Okay, it's got this number linked to a property in Grand Prairie on Man Montana. Does that ring a bell at all? Does that ring a bell at all, right? So now we're gonna try to figure out, is she used to live there? Does she rent there? Does her parents live there? Does her family live there? Does she, you know, whatever it may be, or she just might be the wrong person, right? So we're gonna figure that out. That's my mom's address, but I don't own it. Now we figured it out. Oh, listen to what I, watch what I say next. Oh, we just figured this out together. It's your mom's address. That's why your number's linking to it. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. Okay, that makes sense then. It's got your number linking to it. Okay. Right there. Okay. And you hear me, I'm about to go into what's most important are transitions. You gotta be key on those, right? So we're not gonna spend, we figured out what's going on. We're not gonna spend much more time on this point because again, she's still in a hurry to get off the phone, right? We don't need to try to turn this in just because she's talking to us now. We don't need to try to turn this into some, you know, really long conversation because she's in the middle of a meeting and she's gonna put me on hold here in a second because she's in the middle of a meeting. But the power of what we're using and what we're doing allows us to be able to get a little time and watch what happens next, okay? No worries, no worries. Well, if you ever think about buying or selling a house in the future, do you have a you know good realtor you work with? Straight into a transition, sweet, short, and concise. You gotta nail the transitions. Remember that, that's key. Nail your transitions. I do, give me one second, okay? And there she goes and says, I do, right? And now we're gonna go into our script. Once somebody says they have an agent, now we're gonna go into our, oh, okay, well, hey, I've been in this business a long time. You know, I'm starting to see realtors, you know, retire. Would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch and, you know, just keep me as a backup? But listen to the tone when I say it. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to put it on hold. Uh, I do, yes. You do? Okay, okay. Well, you know, I've been in this business a while. I'm starting to see some realtors retire and whatnot. Uh, would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch and maybe keep in as a backup if you ever need it? Okay, that's not a problem. That's cool. Okay, okay. Well, here's what I'll do. If you have a, a good email, I'll just send you my info. And then if you ever need it, you just have it on file. Did you hear that last part? Okay, okay. Well, hey, this is what I'll do for you. If you have a good email, I'll just send you my info and then, you know, you just have it on file if you ever need it. Really unassuming, like you can see my gestures right now, but it's the internalization of this process that'll really be able to get you over the hump on some of these situations and collect that data, guys. This is a quick little breakdown. Take it, use it, apply it, right? These little nuances that I use are really, really good on the phone. It takes a little bit of practice, but if you try it, trial and error, and kind of really mold it to your own liking, mold it to yourself and what's really working for you, I think you'll find some real success with this. Um, as always, guys, hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, do me a favor, just hit that thumbs up. It's really good for the YouTube algorithm. Help me get this message out to more people who may need some help in cold calling. Listen, I know the fear of cold calling. I know it's there. And I'm hoping that my videos are bringing you value, bringing you a little more confidence to be able to use and try these out. Because once you try them and you see they work, that is gonna be the ultimate confidence boost. And that's really what I'm after here, guys. So as always, I appreciate you guys for watching, man. Much love to you. I'm looking forward to the 2022 selling season. I'm getting a lot of comments, a lot of messages on my Instagram. You can go and follow me there, Marquez L. Branson. Um, I answer all my DMs. I'm definitely here to help. And I, I love connecting and networking. If you have referrals, you know people moving to Dallas, Texas, I'd be happy to help your clients out 
uh, I'm professional as they come and we're going to get the job done. So the one thing about me that you'll understand is I'm going to answer my phone if you call it. So as always, guys, I appreciate you. I will see you on the next video and just go out there and crush it, guys. You got it. You got this.